Hi, I'm Chris Minch, the founder and CEO of PHP Point of Sale. PHP Point of Sale is a software business founded in 2008. Initially, the software was created as a favor for a local tennis shop who needed a high-functioning point of sale system but couldn't afford to pay the extremely high prices that all the other systems charge. Since then, the company has scaled considerably, and to date, there are over 2,500 customers in dozens of countries around the world utilizing PHP Point of Sale, and we look forward to bringing the benefits of our product to thousands more. Since the initial launch, hundreds of updates have been made to the system, and countless new features have been launched. Each and every change and enhancement has been the direct result of customer feedback. There isn't another point of sale system on the market that listens and reacts to customers more quickly and effectively than PHP Point of Sale. We have over 300 reviews with an average of 4.5 stars out of 5. Finally, in 2018, we were awarded as a front runner by Gartner Digital Markets for being one of the most usable and user-recommended software products in the market, ranking well above all large corporate competitors. At the heart of everything we do at PHP Point of Sale is helping small business owners to increase their sales, minimize their costs, and ultimately send profits through the roof. We know and understand all the challenges involved with owning and operating a small business, because like you, we started as a small business. At the end of the day, it is our mission to give small businesses owners the tools to be successful in an ever-changing retail environment. As online retailers and big box stores slash prices and all but eliminate margins, we realize that small businesses have to have the tools to provide a top-notch customer experience in order to keep their customers coming back. So why choose PHP Point of Sale? It's because you'll receive the focus and attention of a small business with all the features and benefits of the corporate competitors for half the price. During our conversations with our customers, the ability to quickly process transactions with customers is one of the most important aspects of a point of sale system. Our small business customers have told us that efficiency is key, particularly during busy times. If our customers and their employees aren't able to quickly select the item their customer wants to purchase and process the transaction quickly, it could cost a great deal of sales as other customers in the store become impatient and decide to take their business elsewhere. With so many different retail options online and through big box retailers, this is something we just had to get right. As a result, we have worked extremely hard to make sure the ability to add items and prices to PHP Point of Sale and quickly process a transaction. This has allowed many of our customers to increase sales by more than 20% year over year. In addition, it adds credibility to the sale and makes customers more likely to return. Additionally, since our customers can't be at the store 24-7, PHP Point of Sale allows our customers' employees to accurately manage the store in their absence so they're able to spend more time with friends and family and feel comfortable knowing that their business is running smoothly in their absence. A great example of a customer that had great success with the transactional component of PHP Point of Sale is Pepperwood design owner Andrew Grabowski. Andrew and his wife were brand new to retail and are thrilled that they decided to go with PHP Point of Sale for their service. Pepperwood design builds and sells beautiful wooden furniture and handcrafted items. Because of that, in order to leave the store in the hands of an employee, Andy needed to be certain to have a point of sale system that would make it easy to accurately process customer transactions in his and his wife's business. The result has been spectacular. Pepperwood Design has grown in each of the few years they have been in business and have made it a point to thank PHP Point of Sale for playing a role in their growth. One additional component that Andy and his wife loved is the personalized support that our customers receive. Our team of programmers is extremely customer focused and in his case spent one-on-one -on -one time with Andy to ensure PHP Point of Sale was set up perfectly for his business. In this demo, I will show you how to add a new item and process a sale. We make it very simple in PHP Point of Sale. Once you're on the item section, you simply click the new item button. On this form, it is broken down into a few sections to make it easy to add the item. The first step is to put the item name and then to select the category. Those are the only required fields. You'll see there are a bunch of other fields such as product ID and UPC, which can be the barcodes on the product. I'll skip the variation section and go to pricing. On the pricing section, you have a cost price and a selling price. This will allow you to accurately determine profit. I will fill out the pricing information and hit save. The next section is inventory. This is where you can put how much you have of a product. In this case, I'll put 10. Once you've added the item, it will show up on your items list back on the screen. 
you can customize this list to show only the fields that you want to see. Now we'll show you how to sell this item quickly and easily. You simply click the sales button on the left and you can search for the item. In this case, we can type in the word test. It shows up and you hit submit. So now you have the item added to your sale. You can easily change the quantity, um, optionally add a customer and cl click to complete sale to collect payment. It's as simple as that and now you can print a receipt and go on to your next transaction. Uh, validating the effectiveness of their day-to-day -day operations is one of the key things that our customers tell us is important in their point-of-sale software. For that reason, the PHP point-of-sale team has created a suite of over 40 reports which allow our customers to understand exactly what's going on with their business on a daily basis. They are able to offer their customers cutting-edge experiences which are proven across the retail industry to bolster sales and profits. In addition to the basics like a fully integrated credit card processing platform and the ability to utilize WooCommerce fell selling products online, PHP Point of Sale takes it to another level by introducing gift cards and loyalty programs. These offerings are proven to generate customer engagement. To understand the value better of a loyalty program, take a look online for the Starbucks state case study, which is generating millions of additional sales for the company. Brian Grauberg from the Imagination Station Science and History Museum is thrilled to have made the decision to transition to PHP Point of Sale. At first, he was somewhat nervous that there would be pushback from his employees in terms of having to utilize a new system. However, he has found that to be quite the opposite. All of his employees enjoy the new system and new members of the team are able to get up to speed extremely quickly thanks to the ease of use. Brian's favorite aspect of the PHP Point of Sale system is the ease of which he is able to create reports. In total, there are over 40 different reports that can be run, and as a result, Brian is able to easily evaluate the performance of each aspect of his business. Now Brian can hold his entire team accountable for their results, including the sales and the marketing departments for their revenue, as well as his educators for keeping costs in line. The features of PHP Point of Sale is helping you manage your day-to-day -day operations. We can do this via reporting in many ways. Every business will be different, but I'll show you the main ways you can close your day out. When you go to the report section on the left, you simply click close out. This will show you most of your activity in all aspects of your business for a given day. Um, for, for this one, I'll just select today. You can do any date range. You could do it by the week. You could do it by the month. So I'll click today. Um, it will generate the report and will show you all the data you would need. Um, each section has a, um, a, he a heading that shows you the details you'll need to know. So for example, you'll be able to see the number of transactions, the average ticket size, how many items you've sold, the tax, and what payment types were um, made for um, that section. You also can scroll down and see um, returns, discounts, inventory, and any purchases you've made as well as any expenses. This um, generally gives you a great snapshot of what you've done for the day or any given date range. Um, back in reports, you can use other um, reports such as the sales report. Um, and you click detail, this will give you more specifics of what is sold um, during any date range. For example, today I've only made one sale and I can actually expand it to see the in individual items that have sold. Um, some other reports that people use for their closeout is uh, the items report. The items report can actually show you um, for a given date range um, what items have sold and how much you've made in profit. So if I run it for today, You'll see that I have a test item. I've sold two of them today. I have eight in stock, um, and I've sold um, $12 of that item. Um, all the reports can be saved and customized to your need um, for your particular day-to-day um, -day operations. For most small businesses, personnel and inventory are the two largest costs associated with doing business. While having the right personnel is necessary for a business to function, properly managing inventory levels is a science and is critical to the success of any business. We have features to automatically track inventory when you sell and purchase, as well as reconcile inventory with our counting feature. All the inventory features can be accessed via our reports and can be filtered easily. PHP Point of Sale helps identify slow and fast moving items, so the right items are always in stock when a customer is ready to make a purchase. Another satisfied customer who's thrilled with his decision to move from running his business by hand to utilizing PHP Point of Sale is Teddy from CycleShack. When asked as it relates to inventory, CycleShack has the added complication of selling not only products out of his store, but also services, in his case, bicycle repairs. Because of this, there are certain services that CycleShack sells on a daily basis that don't have any physical inventory, 
but instead relies on the properly managing the time of his bicycle technicians. Teddy is thrilled with PHU Point of Sale's ability to track and monitor the status of repairs and the reporting allows him to understand exactly which issues his customers are facing so that he can maximize profits by ensuring that he is properly staffed with the correct team for the jobs at hand. Finally, Teddy and the Cycle Shack team are thrilled that there has never been any downtime and that in the few instances they've needed customer support, the situations have been resolved immediately. Important aspects of a point of sale system is to accurately maintain your inventory and manage all aspects of inventory. Um, if you look at my item list, um, by default, it shows you how much quantity you have of each item. Um, this is really important to make sure um, you can answer a customer's question for how much stock they have of a particular item. You could also run reports on inventory. If you go to the report section, there is a multitude of reports that you can run based on your inventory. Um, the most popular one is the inventory summary report, which gives you a snapshot of your inventory um, currently. You could filter this by category. So if you only want to see um, the items that are in pen, you can filter the category. You can also filter by supplier. In this case, I will just take the default options and hit submit. This will show you um, all your inventory, if you have any pending inventory, what your reorder level is, what your replenish level is, and you can actually um, have a suggested order amount if you've set your replenish level. So this is a basic report. It shows you all the information you would need on your inventory, and it can be filtered very easily. Um, another report you can run in the inventory report is a um, low inventory report. This will show you which items are running low. So you could say I want to see um, items that are in stock, out of stock, um, at or below the reorder level, or below the reorder level, and out of stock. Um, these options allow you to easily see what's low, um, so you can easily make a decision. Um, based on this report, I have three were in my reorder level, but I only have two in um, stock, so it's a low one that I need to definitely order. Um, we make it very easy to run these reports um, with a couple clicks, and you'll be able to manage your business very easily. Thank you for watching our presentation. We are committed to being an integral part of your business success and look forward to helping you every step of the way. We have a 14-day risk-free trial and we don't require any payment to try it out. Get started today.